Hey chickies, thanks so much for hanging out for a bit today. I feel like it's been a month filmed a sit down video. I think it has been a month and uh, what better way to kick it off with June Obsessions, best of the best in beauty and lifestyle. <laughs> If you're new here, I'm Christine, Curate Beauty, Lifestyle, as well as Raw Vlogs. Greatly appreciated. If you please subscribe to my channel, would absolutely love it if you'd be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. The month of June was really busy. I think from Memorial Weekend, have a, another vlog which should go up in the next couple of days, which goes more in depth of like the things that have been going on besides um, when the Alaska family, my sister in law her kids Ina and Ivan came here to visit. I think this is going to be a chatty video so I hope you don't mind. It was really important that we first kind of kick off this June Obsessions with a giveaway so make sure you check the link down below on how to enter. It's just basically you know that link below will tell you and give you like all the deets on how to enter the giveaway. Just a thank you from me to you for sticking around, for hanging out, taking time to watch these videos because it really does mean so much and without you I would not be able to do what I love today. I didn't have a monthly favorites for the month of May. Um, so this is basically like two months worth of beauty favorites. AOA Studio. I still have the packaging. This is their blender vault and it just came basically with like seven different sponges. Favorite at the moment. They are so soft like once you uh, run them under some water they just like pounce onto the skin and beautifully blends everything out beautifully. Sorry I know that they are quite dirty right now but I believe for this whole pack it was like under ten dollars. If you have not checked out Shop at Miss A, that's the name of the website. Highly recommend you check them out. I will link them down below. They have a couple other things um, that I really want to check out and I also have like a new bag of items that I haven't shared yet but these sponges are incredible. So you know I'm a huge stickler when it comes to SPF on the face. And the one product that I've been really going back to, it's from the brand It Cosmetics. And this is the Bye Bye Foundation in the shade Neutral Tan. It's contained SPF 50, UVA, UVB. I have a whole review comparison between this and the It Cosmetics uh, CC Plus, which I will link um, down below in the description box. Also up in the card area, if you are looking for a product that's like a two-in-one that's got the SPF especially for the warmer weather where it's not gonna make you not make, gonna make you feel oily or greasy but give you that full coverage which I am wearing today if you're gonna go out to an amusement park if you're gonna be out uh, the whole day you're gonna be in the Sun it cosmetics in general just has so many incredible skin loving ingredients it has so many benefits for the skin it doesn't get cakey oily greasy it's such an amazing product the highlighter this is an oldie but a goodie from the brand Milani cosmetics it's one of their strobe light instant glow powder in the shade Sun glow 03 which I am wearing today this has been the highlighter that I have been wearing just non-stop champagne um, highlight it just gives you like that sheen like a beautiful beautiful sheen and also go very light-handed with it if you don't want like such an intense highlight but if you want an intense beaming highlight Mm, this is definitely the way to go and it's also very very affordable. Let's talk about a lip gloss that I think everybody just at least needs to check out one of these shades NYX and this is one of their this is milky gloss called milk and honey. It's what I'm wearing today now this is more of like a nudie peachy color. It does have a little bit of a tint to it but not very much and this layers beautifully over top any lip product whether it's a lipstick it doesn't need to be a nude or a pink it could be like even the brightest color and it still looks really really good over top because it is such a sheer lip gloss these aren't sticky almost out of this product that's how much i've used it uh the past uh, two months or so there's one to check out this is definitely the color i highly recommend jelly jam lip mask from shop miss a this sh this shade i was gonna say shade but this flavor is called honey and i've basically already hit pan so moisturizing it does taste like honey they are a little bit on the thicker side just a little heads up because they're more of a lip mask um but 
these are incredible especially for the price point because they are so inexpensive these were sent over by pixie these are their uh pixie on the go on the glow blush it's a tinted moisture stick so we have this one called fleur which i have been using quite a lot of i'm not wearing this one today it does have a little bit of like a luminous glow to it hydrated very dewy look, kind of look to it but it doesn't make you look oily it's very very beautiful this watch is pretty intense Tense, but let me just take it on like a brush i'll just take it on one of these um luxy brushes and then i'll just kind of start patting it into the skin very gently i've tried just swiping it on to my cheek area and it moves the foundation underneath and it doesn't look the, the greatest but if you just take it and like dab it onto the skin like this it looks gorgeous it's, this is a moisture stick it doesn't dry down to a powder finish if you don't want this to move i would set it even just set it with like some translucent powder just to kind of lock it in place the one i am wearing today and this one i was like i don't know it's a little bit too bright for me but it's called juicy it's definitely a little bit more on the orangey side or intimidating in my opinion just because i'm not really used to wearing such like bright shades like this but it also has a little bit of like a goldish reflex to it dab it onto the skin which i am wearing today again this is something that you want to make sure that you set with some translucent powder so that it doesn't feel sticky you could always go over it with another blush but i think these look great on their own now, i filmed a makeup tutorial with this eyeshadow palette but then the footage just did not turn out the way how i had hoped and then it got super crazy ended up not refilming it but let me know if you would like to see a look on this palette this eyeshadow palette from profusion was just like blown away by it the packaging is really really cute this is called the love you so brunch eyeshadow palette and it's very very cute i mean the packaging it's cardboard it has a mirror and these are the shades inside the palette so you do have a mixture of some browns you have some pops of color these are the shadows that i'm wearing today the whole month of june this is the only eyeshadow palette that i have been grabbing for and my favorite shadow in this palette has got to be this one up here it's called bellini in different lighting it looks a little bit gold but it could also look green and a little bit maroonish spritz my brush with a like a setting spray just so that it really grips the shadow when you lay it down or you can always lay down some concealer to really help set the shadows in place all the mattes in here i have had no problem with these blend out beautifully you do get some fallout the pan size of the shadows are quite tiny but this palette it's like one of those that i would not sleep on it because it is such a cute and very impressive eyeshadow palette i did pick up the other things in the line because they were just i mean the packaging i'm telling you just sold me these are the profusion sparkling lip toppers their lip toppers are pretty good they remind me of the holiday lip toppers that they came up that they came out with um a couple years ago it's just that this has a lot cuter packaging lip mosas they're they're very adorable they look like um little uh wine bottles these are more like lip tints and they have a doe foot applicator it's okay in my opinion it's more of the packaging that really suckered me into buying it we're just talking makeup right now so we have these are the whipped glow mousse highlighters called sweet whip the other one is called whip it good they were just okay to me moussey feel to it but once you blend it out onto the skin it it dries down to a powder the other one this definitely has a lot more glitter to it oh my gosh and it's it is really really hopefully you can see that because i'm like running out of space on my arm but the other one is very glittery let's just bring it back to the palette the palette is the star of the show in my opinion and this is the one i think that if there's one thing to pick up from this collection it's definitely the eyeshadow palette some body products aquaphor healing ointment advanced therapy for dry cracked or irritated skin 
skin this is amaz amazing amazing especially if your hands are really dry if your feet are really dry you want them moisturized this is the product i highly recommend you check out and this is the one i've been absolutely just loving it's great especially if you put this on at night if you just coat your hands with this or your feet with this the next morning your feet feel nice and soft as well as your hands from bath and body Works sun kiss 24 hour moisture ultra shape body cream sun drenched orange blossom sparkling sea salt vanilla breeze it smells uh sweet but it also smells refreshing so it's like an in-between scent i'm a very big fan of sweet smelling scents so this in combination with a lot of the summer fragrances that are really sweet excellent one and it's also very moisturizing i was really really surprised uh for some reason i think i was only trying this on my hands and on my arms and on my legs and i was extremely impressed with how moisturizing it is the berry waffle cone fragrance mist douse myself in this thing because it just smells so sweet berries and waffle every time i spray this Somebody will always comment, ooh, it smells like berries. This is always in my bag. If you are a fan of uh, sweet smelling scents, highly recommend you check this one out. Um, I believe it's um, only for the summer season, so I stocked up with the big bottle. I also have some backups. Make sure you subscribe because I do have a makeup and I guess hygiene haul coming up as well. To get like that really glowy look to your skin, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with vitamin E, it's a moisturizing body oil. It's what I have on today on my arms, on my decollete area. And I love placing this on my like tummy area where I have stretch marks. At first, I wasn't very fond of the, the cocoa butter scent. I don't know, it just has a different kind of funky scent to it in my opinion but i did get used to it plus since i layer all my fragrances you know with the body spray with the lotions mixed in with this it doesn't really bother me anymore it gives you like this really healthy moisturized kind of look you can still feel it on the skin it doesn't feel oily or greasy to the touch either which is something i really really do like okay let's move on to some hair products now this is the reconstructing fluid crystal serum um it's from Fanola. i've been absolutely loving Fanola products the purple shampoo there's also a um, deep conditioner mask which I'll have to talk about in another video very lightweight serum you can just put this over your hair like say if you just want to like tame the frizzies which 99.9% .9 of the time I always have and it's very lightweight it smells really good it doesn't weigh the hair down which i also really appreciate because sometimes some serums or hair oils they can really weigh it down but this does not let's kind of talk about like a little bit of a fail product my fail product would have to be suave dry texture spray now you guys know how much i love the kenra dry texture spray i've been using this thing for years it's what i have in my hair today it gives your hair some volume you can really give it like that texture but it doesn't feel crunchy to the touch it just feels nice and soft oh and this lasts for a couple days say if i don't wash my hair for three days i still have my curls in the suave dry texture spray it's supposed to uh, give you volume texture for lightweight hold ready for anything hair the packaging is really cute right i mean it really really is cute that's probably one of the reasons why i ended up picking it up didn't like about this was the way how it made my hair feel because it did feel like a little bit crunchy and dry to the touch which is like the complete opposite i did not want that curls just disappeared there was even like one specific piece that was like straight because it it just didn't hold up i was just so disappointed with this product the one from kenra is a little bit more on the pricier side but i was just hoping that this would be it for me you know just played back some of the footage and i noticed that the mic volume was cranked up a little bit too much so i'm hoping fingers crossed i can correct that in post because i don't want to be like yelling at you guys shout out to my girl jackie for sending over these kicks so these are from the brand sorel they are a little bit dirty because i wear these that often um a movie pink let me show you the back of them but these by far are probably one of the most comfortable kicks i have ever worn and these are the ones i wear whenever i go to six flags magic mountain when i go to six flags power walk like when i'm walking from the parking lot i power walk so that's like really my day to like sweat and just um you know burn all those calories and i really pushed myself now there was a time when i wore my my filas and i was power walking 
let me tell you, I was dead the next day. Uh, like, extremely, extremely tired. With these, yeah, I do feel tired, but not, like, to the point where I feel like I literally, like, ran for miles. These are lightweight, they're cushiony, and they give you a lot of support. Uh, thank you so much to Jackie for sending these over. They are incredibly cute and just so, so comfortable. I think that is it. That's everything I wanted to mention for my June obsessions. I know this video is going to be quite long. I hope, um it's all right with you and hopefully i wasn't all over the place which i kind of feel like i was please don't forget to comment below what have you guys been obsessed with what have you been loving for the past two months beauty and lifestyle i would love to know and also if you tried out any of these products i'd love to get your feedback on how these products worked out for you so i hope you enjoyed hanging out today and i hope you found this video helpful if you did please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be part of the chicky crew thank you chicky so much for watching stay safe and healthy and i will see you in the next video Mwah.